Yellowstone Supervolcano Warning. Growing kill zone discovered above new hotspot. A worrying new kill zone hotspot the size of four football fields has just been discovered in Yellowstone Supervolcano, and it has been brewing for 20 years. Scientists found the growing thermal area, which is currently around 8 acres in size. By observing the quantity of dead vegetation in the vicinity, the troubling phenomenon has been labeled a tree kill zone as the ground is warmer than its surroundings, causing trees to die off. While scientists have only just confirmed its existence, the United States Geological Survey, USGS, estimates it's been forming over the last 20 or so years. In a new post for the USGS weekly called Era Chronicles, scientists have revealed the existence of a new thermal area near Turn Lake. These areas are home to thermal features such as hot springs and geysers, of which there are more than 10,000 spanning the length and breadth of the park. Scientists have noticed a growing thermal patch between the established Turn Lake thermal area and West Turn Lake, and trees don't appear able to survive it over the last few years. A look through the imagery going back to the 1990s confirmed what they suspected, a growing bright patch in the middle of the forest, signaling warmth beneath the surface. The USGS said, analysis of a Landsat 8 nighttime thermal infrared image acquired in April 2017 revealed an unexpected warm area between West Turn Lake and the previously mapped Turn Lake thermal area. This mysterious patch of bright pixels in the thermal infrared image did not match any previously mapped thermal areas. The most recent image of the Turn Lake region, from 2017, reveals a large area of dead trees and bright soil, rather like a thermal area. However, contrary to appearances, the phenomenon is allegedly no cause for concern. Experts claim that it is simply in line with what is expected in the Yellowstone area. Yellowstone Volcanoes Caldera has risen up to 70 centimeters in parts, according to USGS scientists who revealed they will continue to monitor it. Speaking at a public lecture in Menlo Park, California in 2014, scientist Jacob Lowenstein revealed how the ground rise from Yellowstone was measured. He said, so the really remarkable thing about Yellowstone is that it moves up and down. The ground surface is unstable and over time it moves. Bob Smith was one of the parties that came in and resurveyed a series of roads that hadn't been surveyed since the 20s. Dan Dzurizin also worked on this topic. He's from the Cascades Volcano Observatory. Bob and his colleagues reoccupied the benchmarks that were done previously in Yellowstone. And he made a contour map that shows the number of millimeters that the area has gone up. Most of the activity is going on in the caldera and the uplift is about 700 millimeters in between two areas we call the resurgent domes. So it's 700 millimeters, 70 centimeters, which is about two feet and so that has happened in 50 years. This is a remarkable observation and something we have been tracking ever since. We're trying to understand it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.